Hi, this is Todd Kerr with Powerline Sentry. Today I'd like to talk to you about our bird flight diverter series of line markers. When we designed this line marker, we stepped back and really wanted to understand what would birds see and what would make this the most, most effective product for birds that were flying. Uh, the, so what we did was we hired a board certified ophthalmologist veterinarian who is essentially an eye doctor for birds to understand what birds see, do they see color, is there something that would attract them or alert them that there's danger, those types of things. We then researched and reviewed third party research papers uh, by biologists that studied collision events uh, with birds and utility lines. From all of that information, we knew that we had several features that we needed to include in this, in this device. The first one is a reflective uh, tape. This is a mirrored reflective tape, so it, you can think of it as, a, as thousands of tiny mirrors that are refracting. It's much better than a traditional uh, reflector that's uh, crushed glass. It gives you a better, stronger uh, reflection. The next thing we found out was that most of the bird collisions are happening in low light conditions. So your storms, your fog, and then dusk overnight until dawn and then a couple hours after dawn. This makes sense because in the, at dusk the birds are coming in to roost. In the morning they're going out to feed or continue on their migration. So that's when your higher activity will happen. And so we have a 24 hour glow in the dark tape here. This 24 hours is important, is important because in the morning a traditional glow lasts about six hours. So it's not going to last through the night. So any of your collisions that are happening in the morning wouldn't be covered. That's why we have a 24 hour glow. The next thing is a solid object. The solid object uh, throughout our research is probably the most effective thing in getting a bird to divert away from the line and getting their attention. Basically that solid object's gonna hurt if I hit it. So it gets their attention. So this particular device and the way we, we designed it, it's it's shaped this way for wind load, but if you look at it from the side, which sometimes birds collide from the side, it looks like a rectangle when you're 30 feet away from it. If they're descending from the top, they're gonna see a rectangle and the same reflective and glow. If they're rising from the bottom uh, and taking off into the line, they're gonna see a rectangle and they're gonna see the reflective pieces. So no matter which direction they're flying at the line, this is gonna alert them to it. The, the way that this is installed, there's a uh, rubber hose on the inside and this rubber hose cradles the wire once it's installed. It also keeps it from sliding down the wire. So here's how it's installed by just by hand is they just snaps over like so. It's on, uh, it's not gonna move. If the wind blows hard from this direction, it's gonna blow out to the side. You can still see it's effective. Uh, if it's over time, it'll slide back to normal. And so the, we've not had any issues with this flight diverter coming off because the stronger the wind blows, the more that it is holding on to the, to the wire. There are other installation methods. We have a hot stick adapter, so you can install these with a hot stick. Uh, we now have a robot that can be lowered onto the line and that will s install up to 24 diverters in sequence on a span so that's very effective and uh, pretty pretty soon we'll release the drone version it'll be installed by drones so a lot of different options uh, great efficacy and easy to install and it's it lasts 15 to 20 years so if you need any more information or you have questions, visit us at powerlinecentry.com. I appreciate your time.